Hello to everyone, my name is Rodibert Almerino at i-discuss ko pong chapter 4 The title is Jose Rizal's Travels and Studies Abroad Chapter 4 Jose Rizal's Travels and Studies Abroad First travel decision to Gabbard Jose Rizal continued his four years of the medical course at the University of Santo Tomas USD The academic freedom that he had enjoyed while the Ateneo was weakened by the racial prejudice and limitation at the USD Pinagpatuloy ni Rizal ang pag-aaral niya dun sa UST sa kursong medical. At ang akademikong kalayaan niya dun sa UST ay hindi ganun kaganda at puro limitasyon at diskriminasyon ang mga nangyayari dun. Nevertheless, he finished his, stud, his course for he wanted to treat the failing eyesight of his mother. So, natapos niya ang kursong medical at gusto niya ring ipagamot ang pagkabigo ng mata ng kanyang ina. Creditable, but he found the classroom inadequate for his academic curiosity. He then decided to continue studies in Spain. Um, pasado naman lahat ng kanyang grades, ngunit hindi sapat ang kanyang kalaman kung dun lamang siya mag sa UST. Kaya na, nag-decide siya na mag sa ibang bansa upang madagdagan ng kalaman niya. Aside from continuing studies abroad, he intended to observe the life, culture, industry, government, and those of the European nations in order to prepare himself in his obsession to liberate the Filipino people from Spanish tyranny. Bukod sa pag-aaral niya sa ibang bansa, layun, layunin din ni Rizal na obserbahan ang buhay, industriya, goberno, at batas sa bansang Europa. At ang mga kultura nito, upang ihanda na rin ang kanyang sarili sa kanyang kinahumi, kinahuhumaling na palayay ng mamayang Pilipino sa kamay ng Espanyol. The plan was not known to his parents because they would surely disapprove of his living for Spain. His older brother, Fasciano, his two sisters, Saturnina and Lucia, his uncle Antonio Rivera and other uh, friends supported him. Hindi nga alam ng mga magulang ni Rizal na pupunta siya sa ibang bansa dahil kapag nalaman ito ng mga magulang niya, hindi ito papayagan kaya sinuporta na lang siya ng mga kaibigan niya at ng kanyang nakatangdang kapatid si Pasyano at ang dalawa niyang kapatid na babae na si Saturnina at Lucia. Travel for Spain Using the name of Jose Mercado, Jose Rizal's departure for Spain was made possible. His brother Fasciano gave him 356 pesos and his priest gave him letter of recommendation to the members of their society in Barcelona. Dahil sa kagustuhan na di Fasciano na makapag-aral ang kanyang kapatid sa ibang bansa, binigyan ni, binigyan ni Fasciano ng 356 pesos si Rizal upang makapunta doon at biligyan din ng liham si Sir Sal ng isang parang siwita para sa Barcelona On May 3, 1882 Rizal left on board the Spanish streamer ship Salvadora bound for Singapore He was the only Filipino and the rest were Spaniards, British and Indian Negros He got along famously with his fellow passenger some of them other than him who he defeated in chest, even the chief captain Doneto Recha from Australia, Spain, had made friends with Rizal. Noong May 3, 1882, umalsa si Rizal dito sa Pilipinas, sakay ng Spanish streamer chief na Salvadora, patungo sa Singapore. Siya lamang naging isang Pilipino doon at ang lahat ng nandun ay puro mga Espanyol. British at Indian Negros. Nakilala niya ng sikat ang kanyang mga kapwa pasahero. Ang ilan sa mga ito ay mas matanda sa kanya. Nalatalo niya sa chess. Kahit na ang mga barko ng kapitan ay nakipagkaibigan sa kanya. After five days of sailing to Salvadora, reached the English colony of Singapore. He registered at Hotel de la Paz. His two days Stopover spent most at the time. 
visiting the historic place, temples, botanical gardens, art galleries, and statue of Sir Thomas Stanford Raffles, founder of Singapore in 1818. Makalipas ng limang araw ng paglalayag, naabot ng Salvadora ang kolonya ng Singapore. Nagparehistorod din si Rizal sa Hotel de La Paz ng dalawang araw at ginugol ang oras ni dun sa pagbisita sa makasaysayan. Emblo, botanical garden, mga art gallery at mga statue ni Sir Thomas Stanford Raffles na nagtatag ng Singapore noong 1819. From Singapore to Colombo, Sri Lanka. From Singapore, we boarded the Jaina, a burnt steamer bound for Europe on May 11, 1882. French was mostly spoken on board. To his surprise, the French we learned at the Ateneo could not be understood. He gradually improved his facility of the language by conversing daily with the passenger. Ang princess, ang palaging sinasalita sa board, sa kanyang pagkagulat, ang princess na natutunan niya sa Ateneo din ay hindi niya maitindihan. Kaya pinagbuti niya ang wikang princess sa pamamagitan ng pakikipag-usap palagi sa pasayero dun sa Jemna. On May 17, 1882, Jemna made its stopover at the Point Gali. He noted, Point Gali, a sea coast down in southern Ceylon, now Sri Lanka, which is picturesque but lonely, quiet at the same time sad. The ship then headed north and on May 18 docked at Colombo, capital of Ceylon. The Sal Road, Colombo is more beautiful, smart, and illegal elegant than Singapore, Point Gali, and Vanilla. Noong May 7, 1882, humintong sinasakyan ni Rizal sa Point Gali. At sinabi niya sa Point Gali, sa isang bayan ng dagat sa Southern Ceylon, na ngayon ay Sri Lanka, ito ay maganda ngunit malungkot. Tahimik at sabay nalulungkot. O sinasabi niya na mapayapa. Mapayapa ang lugar na iyon. Ang barko ay nagtungo sa Hilaga at no- noong May 18 at nakarilo sa Colombo at sa kabisera ng Ceylon. Sumulat si Rizal at sinabi niya ang Colombo ay mas maganda, matalino at matikas kaysa Singapore. Point Gali at Manila. Hello, I'm Rick M. Sasutuna Jr. from Prince of A. We discussed po natin sa chapter 4 ang trip through Suez Canal. The Gemini continue to voyage first in the Indian Ocean to the Cape of Cordoba, barren coast of Africa which for Rizal was an inhospitable land from the but famous. The next step over was in Eden. This was the first time Rizal stepped on Africa soil and saw real camels. From Eden, the Gemini arrived at the port side in the city of Suez. The Red Sea Terminal of Suez Canal. Rizal was fascinated to hear the multi, multi-racial inhabit, inhabitant speaking. A havel of towns, Arabic, Egyptian, Greek, French, Italian, Spanish, etc. From Port Said, side, and ship travels the Suez Canal and on June 11, Arrive at Napoli. Now Napoli, Italy. Passengers were allowed to move around the place, and results never wasted time to explore the first European territory in his sight. He was pleased from pleased from of its business activities, its live lively people, its panoramic beauty, like Mount Vesuvius the castle of St. Telmo and other historic sites. After the brief stop of Napoli, the ship processed to Marseilles and arrived at the French harbor on June 12, 1882. He visited the famous chateau it, if they were Dantes, the hero of the Count of Monte Cristo was impressed. He enjoyed 
reading this novel of Alexander Dumas when he was at the Ateneo. In the afternoon of June 15, Rizal left Marseilles by train bound of Barcelona. The train cost Pyrenees and stop of a day of for, for passport inspection and they finally reached Barcelona on June 16, 1882, the second largest city of Spain and the greatest city of Catalonia. Jose Rizal's first impression of the city was on favorable for he happened to stay upon his arrival and dirty in when were in the staff and guests were indifferent to him however as he had st stayed in city this impression has had changed and found barcelona to be re to be ready to be really a great city the people with courageous open heart hearted and hospitable and most of all the atmosphere of freedom and liberalism was felt filipinos in barcelona some of who were his schoolmates in ateneo welcomed him he gave on a party their favorite coffee in plaza de Castelluna with customary exchange of tools the acquaintance acquaintances the attractions of the city and the good customs of the spanish people which of opposite opposite of those in the philippines while in barcelona results wrote a nationalistic essay entitled love of country amor or amor patria which was his first article written in the Spain soil under the name Laong Laan. He sent this to his friend Basilio Teodoro Moran, publisher of Diariaong Tagalog, Diariaong Tagalog. The first Manila newspaper that published both Spanish and Tagalog, this Amor Patrio was published on August 20, 1882 in two texts. The Tagalog text was the translation Filipino to love the Philippines their fatherland who wanted them to be to be free. To be people with dignity and honor according to God's article because it had caused a sensitive to the readers because of its nationalistic Fever. In response to the request, he wrote the second article for Diarion Tagalog, Los Viajes or Travels. His third article, entitled Revista de Madrid or Review of Madrid, was returned to him for Diarion Tagalog has stopped publication because of lack of found. Ang, ang gem na ay <clears throat> isang French passenger ship na ginamit ni Rizal upang madaanan ang Indian Ocean at Cape of Garjapot. Ilang sa hinintuan ni Rizal ay ang Eden kung saan unang naranasan ni Rizal na makakit makatapak sa African soil at makakita ng camel. Sumunod ang port side na nasa siyudad, siyudad ng Suez. Dito nabigyan ni si Rizal sa mga iba't ibang lahi at ng tao na naninirahan at nagsasalita ng Aabel to Tanks sa Arabic, Egyptian, Greek, French, Italian, Spanish at saka iba Mula sa port side, dumating ang Gemna sa Napolay na ngayon ay Napolis. Or it, it, Italy kung saan naranasan ni Rizal ang nalibutin ang lupain ng Europe. Natutuwa siya sa mga tao at mga tanawin nito kaya gaya ng Mount Vesuvius 
Castle of St. Telmo at iba po. Matapos Matapos sa napulay, naglakad mula muli ang Gemna sa Marsilius at dum, dumating sa French Harbor noong June 12, 1882. Binisitan sila ang sikat na ng the Count of Mount Destro na nakulong. Tuwang-tuwa si Rosel na basay ng nobela ni Alexander Domas noong siya ay nasa Ateneo pa lamang hap. Hapon ng June 15, nilinis ni Rosel ang Marcellus Lula na tren papuntang Barcelona. Nadaanan ng tren ang Perinis at huminto ng isang araw sa Fort Bu para inspeksyonin ng mga pasaporte. Nakarating si Rosel sa Barcelona noong June 16, 1882, pangalaw sa kan malaking siyudad sa Spain at ang pinakadakilang siyudad ng Cataluna. Dito naranasan ni Rosel na matulog sa isang maruming panuluyan. Meron ding mga Pilipino sa Barcelona na ang Ilan ay mga kaklase niya noong siya ay nag-aaral sa Ateneo. Binigyan siya ng mga ito ng isang parte sa paborito niyang cafe sa, sa Plaza de Cataluna. Habang nasa Barcelona si Rizal, sinulit niya ang kanyang kauna-unahang makabayang sanaysay na pinamagatang love of country or amor patria. Ginamit ang Spain soil na may sigasig na pangala pangalang Laong Laan. Binigyan niya ito ng binigyan niya ito ng kaibigan si Basilio Tod. Binigyan niya ito sa kanyang kaibigan na si Basilio Teodoro, Teodoro Moran na gumawa ng Jaryong Tagalog. Ang unang Jaryo sa Manila na nakalathala sa Spanish at Tagalog. Nailathala Nailathala ang Amor Patreon noong August 20, 1882 sa dalawang paksay. Sinalin ito sa Tagalog ni Marcelo H. Dertler para himukin ang mga Pilipino na mahalin ang Pilipinas, ang kanilang bayan. Gusto niya na maging malaya ang mga Pilipino na may dignidad at karangalan. Base, sa, base dito at hindi nangalitin. Hiniling, hiniling ng mga kanyang kaibigan na sumulat pa ng maraming artikulo sapagkat ito ang nakapagdulot sa pakiramdam ng mga mambabasa dahil sa pagiging makabansa nito. Bilang pagtugon sa hiling, sin, sinul, sinulat niya ang pangalawang artikulo ng Jaryong Tagalog, Los Viajes, Travelers or Travelers. Pangatlo ay ang Revista de Madrid or Review of Madrid na bumalik sa kanya ngunit ang diaryong Tagalog ay natigil dahil sa kakulangan sa pundo In Madrid Madrid With unwavering determination, prodigious energy and talent, he left Barcelona on November 3, 1882. He enrolled at the Central University of Madrid. For the licentiate in medicine and philosophy and letters. He, fo he followed systematic and well-organized schedule of study because he wanted to learn so much within a short time to enhance his artistic talent. He also took up lessons in painting and sculpture at, at the Academia de Bellas Artists de San Fernando. 
as well as lesson in French, German, and English under private instruction instructors. During his free hours, he practices fencing and shooting of he attended lectures on art galleries and museum and read books on all subjects including mil military engineering. He rigidly budget his money and time. He liked Ugali, Ugali with immense capacity for work. He was a voracious reader who could stay until midnight reading fiction and non-fiction novels, which a habit he acquired early in life at home. With the money books, he had read two books left a deep impression on him that high heightened his sympathy for the oppressed and opportunity people. These were Uncle Tom's cabin by Harriet Beecher Stowe and the Wandering Jew by Eugene Sue. Results joined the Hus Hispano-Philippine Circle, a society of Spaniards and Filipinos shortly after his arrival in Madrid. Upon the request of the members of the society, he wrote a poem He wrote he wrote a poem entitled They Ask Me for Verse Verses which he personally declaimed during the New Year's Ever reception in Madrid. Last December thirty one, eighteen eighty two, in his sad poem he poured out the cry of his agonizing heart, his loneliness and sadness of being alone in a foreign land. They asked for verse, or may pay them verse. He wrote his poem in 1882 while he was enrolled in the Universidad de Madrid. Addressed to his mother, he bared his loneliness and sadness of being alone in a foreign shore. He shared and accept also the physical and emotional strength of his crusade for freedom. And except from they asked for verse maybe the visas verses. while in the childhood years at her son I could keep smelling in my breast I Hispano Philippine circle a society of Spaniards and Filipinos shortly after his arrival and Madrid upon the request of the members of the society he wrote a poem he wrote, he wrote a poem entitled They Asked Me for Verse Verses which he personally declaimed during the New Year's Ever reception in Madrid. Last December thirty one, eighteen eighty two in his sad poem he poured out the cry of his agonizing heart his loneliness and sadness of being alone in a foreign land they asked for verse or may pay them verse he wrote his poem in 1882 while he was enrolled in the Universidad de Madrid addressed to his mother he bared his loneliness and sadness of being alone in a foreign shore. He shore and accept also the physical and emotional strength of his crusade for freedom. And accept from they asked for verse maybe the visas. Verses. While in the childhood years, at her son I could keep smelling. In my breast, I felt a boiling. 
a volcano that sears a bird was I caused with measures and breathe, breathe I say to the sweet wind fly her great mislead and forthwith make it more sing it from zone bring <coughs> Sing it from zone to zone, to the permanent from to the earth. I left her, my native shore. I tree, a tree left less and dry. It no longer repeats the sight of the melodies of you. The vases I did cross, or to change my loss was my dream. Which my madness did not seem to note that instead of my good, instead of the good, I thought the sea would me float with that a pleasure green. He lamented that he did not have love, fervor, and eagerness. Any more for the, for he left them neat the sky of the flower arid, the Philippines. During his first summer vacation in Madrid from June 17 to August 20, 1883, he went to Paris, which is the famous capacity on France. Like at tourism, Rizal was attracted to the sight of Paris like the beautiful boulevard, the Arc, <coughs> the Arc of Trim, Tomb, of Napoleon the Great. He also observed closely the French way of life, visiting museum, the world famous love, lover, botanical garden in Luxembourg. Donate Hospital and Saribaisa Hospital with where he observed Dr. Nigais treating his patient. Among the significant development of Rizal's life in Madrid was his becoming a Mason. He came he came into close contact with the Spanish Liberal, liberal, and Republicans who were mostly Masons. He was impressed by the, by the way, the Spanish Masons openly and friendly criticized and attacked the government and the church, which could not be done the Philippines for they will be jailed or executed if they do so. He discovered the political possibilities of becoming a Mason, so he joined the Masonic Lodge called Acacia in Madrid, in Madrid, with the Masonic name de Masala. Two reasons impelled, impelled him to join mas, Masonry: first, to secure Freemasonry aid in his fight against the friars in the Philippines for they uh, use the Catholic religion as the shield to entrench themselves in power and wealth and persecute the Filipino patriots. Second, to utilize Freemason, Freemasonry as his shield to combat his problems in the Philippines and for more nature contact and enlightenment as he was reading, writing his No Limitang Hero. He had been awarded the diploma as Master Mason on February 15, 1892. After joining the Masons, Rizal naturally case going to Mass and wandering for far from the faith he continued to have faith in divine provide providence testimony to the deep 
imprint to Catholicism in his soul. So, <coughs> while in Madrid, the Filipinos, including Rizal, were having financial problems. However, they were inspired by the victory of Juan Luna and Resurrection, Hidalgo Luna's painting, Spilarium Virgin's Exposed Espolarium won first prize gold medal while Hidalgo's painting Christian Virgus exposed to the populace was awarded second prize silver medal in the national exposition exposition of fine arts in Madrid. It was an exactly moment observed Dr. Nigais treating his patient. Among the significant development of Rizal's life in Madrid was his becoming a Mason. He came, he came into close contact with the Spanish liberal, liberal and Republicans who were mostly Masons. He was impressed by the by the way, the Spanish Masons openly and friendly criticized and attacked the government and the church, which could not be done the Philippines for they will be jailed or executed if they do so. He discovered the political possibilities of becoming a Mason, so he joined the Masonic Lodge called Acacia. In Madrid, in Madrid, with the Masonic name the Masala, two reasons impelled, impelled him to join mas, Masonry. First, to secure Freemasonry aid in his fight against the friars in the Philippines, for they uh, use the Catholic religion as the shield to entrench themselves in power and wealth and persecute the Filipino patriots. Second, to utilize Freemasonry as his shield to combat his problems in the Philippines and for more nature, contact and enlightenment as he was writing, writing his no limitang hero. He had been awarded the diploma as Master Mason on February 15, 1892. After joining the Masons, Rizal naturally is going to Mass and wandering for far from the faith he continued to have faith in divine provide <coughs> providence testimony to the deep and imprint of Catholicism in his soul. So, <clears throat> while in Madrid, the Filipinos, including Rizal, were having financial problems. However, they were inspired by the victory of Juan Luna and Resurrection, Hidalgo Luna's painting, Spilarium Virgin's Exposed Espolarium won first prize gold medal while Hidalgo's painting Christian Virgus exposed to the populace was awarded second prize silver medal in the national exposition, exposition of fine arts in Madrid. It was an exact moment for the Filipinos colony in Madrid and Rizal and Rizal was an exact and invited to give the principal speech held in the evening of June 25, 1884. It was an attended by prominent Spanish artists, artists, newspaper men, statesmen, and Filipino. He salute, lo, saluted Luna and Castilian. 
he held his audience spellbound. He concluded with refined sarcasm, the abuse and blindness of the of some Spaniards who could not comprehend on university genius. He significantly con conducted his memorable speech by offering a toast to Luna and Hidalgo to the youth of the Philippines to the mother Spain and to the Filipino parents whose sons are in Europe. The magnif magnificent speech of Rizal was greeted with wild ovations for, for they have not heard such speech from the lips of brown Filipino, brown Filipino which was almost fearless in nobility of thought. In Spanish rhetoric, eloquence and sincerity of feel feelings. For nilisan ni, ano, ni Rizal ang Barcelona noong November 3, 1882 and then pumasok siya sa Universidad Central de Madrid para sa licentiate of medicine and philosophy and letters at the Academic of Fine Arts of San Fernando upang mapahusay ang kanyang talent sa sini. Tuwing may bakante siyang oras, in inaansay niya yung kanyang kakayahan sa arnis at pagbaral o di kaya sa matensyon ng siya sa mga lectures sa arts galleries at museums naabot inaabot din siya ng hating gabi sa pagbabasa ng mga nobela ngunit mas tumatak sa kanya ang dalawang nobela na nabigay sa kanya ng asawa at inspirasyon sa mga sa mga naaapi at mga nahihirapan ito ay ang Uncle Tom's Cupid na sinulat ni Harriet Harriet Beecher Stowe at now at and uh, Wanderer Jew na sinulat ni Eugene so sumama si Rizal sa isang samahan ng hispano Philip circle sa samahan ng mga Spaniards Spaniards at Filipino dahil sa hiling ng kanyang kasamahan sumulat siya ng tula na pinamagatang they ask me for verse me or me paid in verses na kanyang personal na itinalumpati noong gabi na pagsalubong ng bagong taon sa Madrid noong December 31, 1882 sa kanyang malungkot na talumpati ibinus niya ang the Cathedral of Notre Dame at ang Invalides naglalaman ng libingan ng Napoleon the Great naobserbahan din niya na ang malapit na paraan ng paraan ng pamumuhay ng mga French pagbisita sa mga museo ang sikat na Love, ang bat botanical garden sa Luxembourg then Yenek Hospital at sa Reviser Hospital kung saan naobserbahan niya kung paano magamot ng pasyente si doktor ni guys kasama sa makabuluhang buhay ni Rizal sa Madrid ay ang kanyang pagiging mason. Naging malapit siya sa mga Spanish na kapwa niya mason. Namangha siya sa paraan ng mga Spanish na malayong pinupuna malayong pinupuna at ina 
hinaatake ang gobyerno at mga sumbahan sa nakapaginawa sa Pilipinas ay siguradong sa kalungkutan nito kahantong or else magkakaroon ng stigma away kontra gobyerno or at mga na yan nadiscover din niya ang mga posibilidad sa politik politika ng isang mason gaya sa politika ng isang mason gaya sumama siya sa maso, kaya sumama siya sa masonic lodge na kung tawagin ay Akasha Akasha in Madrid na may pangalang Dimasalang dalawang rason kung bakit siya napilitang sumama sa masonry una para masiguro ang malayang pag, pagtulong sa kanya laban sa mga praile sa Pilipinas kung saan ginagamit nila ang relihiyon ng katoliko bilang panangga sa kanilang kapangyarihan at kayamanan at kahirapan ang mga Pilipinong bayani. Pangalawa, magamit ang lib libreng pagmamason bilang panangga sa mga lumaban sa problema sa Pilipino, Pilipinas at para sa mas maging maayos ang mga paliwanag sa kanyang isinulat na no limit ang hera. Naawardan si Rizal ng diploma bilang master mason noong February 15, 1892. Habang nasa Madrid nagkaroon ng problema sa pinansyal ang mga Pilipino kasama si Rizal. Gayun, gayun man, Pinu, ano, pinuka, pinukaw sila sa pag, pagkapanalo ni Juan Luna at Resurrection Hidalgo. At pinintan ni Juan Luna na Espolarium ay nanalo ng first prize na gan, gintong medal, medalya habang uh, pinintan naman ni Hidalgo na Christian Virgin exposed to the populace ay nanalo ng second prize silver medal sa National Exposition ng, ng Fine Arts sa Madrid. Ito ang nagbibigay puri sa kol kolonya ng mga Pilipino sa Madrid at Rizal ay naimbitahan na magbigay ng principal speech na ginanap sa gabi ng June 25, 1884. Dinaluhan ito ng mga lalang Spanish artists newspapers, state, statesmen at mga Pilipino. Sumalo doon siya kina Luna at Hidalgo, ang dalawang dakilang karangalan ng Spain. At Pilipinas. Nabigha ni ang mga tao sa kanyang matagintin na pagsalita. May marabol ang kanyang talumpati sa pamagitan ng pagkipag inuman kina Luna at Hidalgo sa kabataan ng Pilipinas sa Spain at sa mga magulang na Pilipino na mga anak na lalaki ay nasa Euro. Ang kahangang-hangang ano, talumpati ni Rosal ay sinalubong ng malakas na papuri na sa kanila ay hindi pa rin makakarinig ng gano'ng talumpati mula sa mga gayumangging Pilipino na halos walang pantay na kaalaman at sinseribidad sinseribidad na damdama <coughs> Results Education in Spain Results Education in Spain. Results follows a systematic and well organized schedule of study. He completed his modi modica medical course and was conferred the degree of licentiate in medicine by the Universidad Central de Madrid on June 21, 1884. That made him, that made him a full pledge physician quali qualified 
qualified to practice medicine. The next academic year, 1884-1885, studied and passed all subjects leading to the degree of Doctor of Medicine but was not awarded his doctor's diploma for he did not submit the thesis as a requirement for graduation nor paid the corresponding fees. At the same time, he was also awarded the degree of licentiate in physics philosophy and letters on June 19, 1885 with the rating of subresaliente or excellent. The degree of Doctor of Medicine was conferred on him posthumously in 1961 during the centenary of his birth. Na tapos ni Rizal yung kursong medisina at nakakuha ng degree na licentiate of medicine sa University of Good day everyone. Rizal in Paris and Berlin 1885 to 1887. With Rizal's relentless search for relevant education and advanced studies, he went to Paris, France and Berlin, Germany to specialize in ophthalmology because he wanted to cure his mother's eye ailment. On his way to Paris, he stopped at Barcelona to visit his friend, Maximo Viola, a medical student who belonged to a rich family in San Miguel, Bulacan, and Don Miguel Moraita, the owner of La Publicidad. He arrived in Paris in October of 1885 and stayed there for four months as an assistant to Dr. Louis de Weckert, a, le a leading French ophthalmologist, after four months and concentrated study, he learned the medical, te medical techniques of an eye operation. During his stay in Paris, he visited the studio of Juan Luna, the home of Pardo de Tavera, and Felix Resurrection Hidalgo. They had long hours of discussions on the many problems of art and learned techniques of his own. He helped Luna by posing as a model in several paintings like the death of Cleopatra, where he posed as the Egyptian priest. In another of Luna's great paintings, The Blood Compact, he posed as his, as Sicatuna with Dr. Trinidad Pardo de Tavera, taking the role of Legaspi. Result in historic Heidelberg, Germany. His limited allowance and his desire to learn more about eye ailments prompted him to go to Germany where the cost of living was cheaper than in Paris. On February 3, 1886, he reached Heidelberg, a historic city of Germany, famous for its old university. He worked at the University Eye Hospital under the direction and supervision of Dr. Otto Becker, a distinguished renowned German ophthalmologist. He attended the lectures of Dr. Becker and Professor William Connie, at the university. During weekends, Rizal visited scenic spots around Heidelberg, the famous Heidelberg Castle, the romantic Necker, Necker River, the old churches. He noticed that the German Catholics and Protestants practice ecumenicism, for they live together in harmony and cordiality. Half of the town churches was used by Catholics and other by the Protestants. During his stay in Heidelberg, he lived with a, with a Protestant pastor, Dr. Karl Allman, who became his good friend. The two had many friendly conversations on the merits of Catholicism and, Protest and Protestantism. Rizal, a mason by this time, ably defended Catholicism in the spring of 1886. Rizal was fascinated by the blooming flowers along the banks of the Necker River. Among them was his favorite flower, the light blue, forget me not, forget me not. A last forest, the Heidelberg, to the flowers of Heidelberg in English term, English title, was written 
during his stay in city of Heidelberg, Germany. He was inspired by the pretty flowers strewn along the banks of Necker River. In this poem, he revealed his longings for his native land. Izal sent his message of love and faith in the Philippines. So, habang nag-stay po si Rizal sa Heidelberg City ng Germany, na-inspire po siya gumawa ng poem dahil po on, and every weekends, um, lagi po siya pumapasyal sa iba't ibang tourist spot ng Heidelberg. At na-inspire po siya gumawa ng poem titled To the Flowers of Heidelberg uh, to 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 symbolize his longings for his native land. Yun po yung ginawa niya. First letter to bloom and treat. Rizal's pride in his linguistic talents were heightened when he wrote in a German letter to Professor Ferdinand Blom and treat, director of Atelier of Le- Late Meritz, Austria on July 31, 1886. He knew that this Austrian ethnologist was interested in Philippine languages. In his letter, Rizal said, I have heard that you are studying our language and that you are, that you had uh, had already published, published some work about it. Permit me to send you a valuable book written by my countryman in our language. The Spanish version is Medicua, because the author is only a modest writer but the, but the Tagalog part is good and it previously the language spoken in our province with the letter he sent the book with the mention and was entitled Arithmetica Arithmetic in our language is Spanish and Tagalog by University of Santo Tomas Press in 1868 authored by Rufino Baltasar Hernandez a native of Santa Cruz, Laguna. Blooming Treat was impressed of Rizal's letter and he reciprocated by the sending Rizal two books as a gift. This marked the beginning of their correspondence, also their friendships that lasted all their lives. Blooming Treat became the best friend of Rizal. Rizal was fortunate to see the 5th century celebration at the University of Heidelberg on August 6, 1886. It was three days before his departure, and he was sad because he had come to love the beautiful city and its hospitable people, which he lamented if he will be able to return to this place again. Thank you for listening. Good day, everyone.